Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Today we're going to be starting out with doing something I should have done at the end of last episode. We're going to be doing some grinding and we're going to make ourselves a new set of armor as well as upgrade some weapons. But to do that, I've got to fight Bulldrum again. That's a Bulldrum down. Come on, tusks. Round two, Bulldrum, me and you. That's two down. Come on, give me a tusk. And that finishes up the Bulldrome hunts, and with that we can make Boo! Jaw! Boo! Jaw! Boo! And we can go ahead and make ourselves, I believe, four of these. Got four attack jewels. We're gonna go ahead and set them real quick. And that should give us. Let's check. Attack up medium. Oh, we're gonna go a fifth one. I didn't realize that I was that close. We're gonna get we're gonna attack up large. I guess you need five. So one more. Oh, I don't have enough slots. Mmm. But I do. I just realized I have another slot in my sword. And that should give us. Attack up large. Sweet. And we still got gathering plus one, and we're almost on defense minus uh, minus one, but luckily, or defense down S, but luckily we didn't get that. All right, and for the next part, we gotta go kill more Banahabras. That's one wing. That's two. That's three. That's four. And with that, we gotta fight Gypsaros. Which I don't have the offline version for. God. Dang it. Um, Gypsaros is down. For real this time. And there's the light crystal we needed. Badass. And with that, we can make the fire version of this. So let's do that. And to level it up, we need some stuff that we don't have access to yet. So that's going to have to hold off. Cool. Um, should I get this? I probably should. And it appears we have one more monster to hunt. Don't tell me that he's only an online monster as well, because that would really suck. God damn it. Back to the hunter's hub. Gotta do it again. Hunt the shit. Kill it quick. Then I get to make the episode. Okay. That took forever. Give me my stupid large, uh, monster bone large, please. Haha, <laughs> there it is. Mm, I should have just killed him. Because then I carved one anyways. God damn it, that took forever. Fucking shell, pain in the ass. Alright, and having fought Diamo Hermiter again, we can upgrade the bone to par. And we're just going to give them some Monster Bone Smalls. And we did that so that we can see that we can make the Poison Axe. Okay, cool. I don't need to do anything for that. Um, and this isn't really worth it. Also, I think Monster Bone Pluses are from, like, Rathalos? Rathalos tier monsters? Um, we're going to go ahead and make the Poison Axe. And then Remobra we can't fight yet. Yeah. But we do have access to a poison weapon now if we want. So that's good. Um, we got we got some progress. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> now that is done, we can actually start the episode. So I will meet you guys at the quest board. And it is time that we take on our urgent quest. The Blungagala. Or Blongon... Yeah, Blongongala. No, Blonganga. Blonganga. <laughs> the big fucking ice monkey. Let's do it. Blanganga? 
Blanganga. It's Blanganga. Alright, so we are ready to finally hunt this freaking monster. I've only been recording for an hour and a half. So, just to get here. Had a lot of stuff to do, and then the freaking Banaha Bros didn't want to give me wings, and couldn't break Diamond Hermiter's shell. You guys saw all about that. But anyways, we're ready to go. I'm going to fight Blanga Blangangala. No. Blanganga. Blanganga. I'll remember it. It's just a bunch of consonants. Uh, where is he at? He's in six. Okay, we can manage that. We're using our new sword, because he's definitely more weak to fire than he is to water. Like, 90% sure. Didn't check, but I'm like 90% sure. And I'd rather do element damage than poison at the moment. Plus, I have more sharpness with this weapon. So, this is what we're going with. More ch 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 praise. You stay over there. And... Paintball. Alright, monkey man. Oh, I should probably put on an oil. What are you gonna do? That. Alright, we are all set. Come on, Blangala. Uh-oh. Yep. Oh, I got out of that tremor quick. Oh, I thought he was about to rampage. No, come back. Um, I'm not not a fan of Blingong, Blinganga, but I'm not a huge fan of him either. I'm kind of neutral on him. Oh, the roar. Can you, can you, can you come out here? Thanks, man. Now I can fight you. Let's go for the mount. Or not. How about here? No, my my guy does not want to jump off the ledge like he's supposed to. There he goes. I should really heal more. Don't you do it. Son of a bitch, just hold still. Where are you going? Oh, wait, you have a dig attack, don't you? Yup. Don't you throw that at me. My uh, stamina oil is already gone, but I'm not that concerned about it at the moment. There it is. That's our mount. That's what we wanted. He's going to freak out immediately because he's enraged. And stab, 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 stab. We're going to try to get a sure you can Geki on his face as soon as he goes down. I can go through it. There we go. Oh, I missed his face. Get some more stun damage, or well, exhaust damage down. Sharpen now. Then we'll get our affinity or our stamina oil back up. He's apparently very angry at the ground. Nope. Oh. Feel a little robbed on that one. He does a lot. 
I really should upgrade my armor, but I'm lazy. <laughs> and cheap. There, we got through the tremor with that one. Ow! Oh, he's actually down. I thought he was just gonna get back up. That's a knockout. Big uppercut. We are going to town on him right now. Uh-oh. No roars. I'm out of here. Damn it, fucking snowball. Ooh, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. <clears throat> snowball did a lot. He's coming for me. Another ice... Why are you using ice breath from all the way over there, dude? All right, thanks, cats. They heal a ton. The cats are really good in this game. Um, I guess they're really good in world as well, but they're really good. Jesus. Chill. Probably throw on affinity oil now. That was a bad time. Okay, he backed up. Yeah, that's what I expected. And he's out of here. And that's why you paintball him, because he can apparently jump far enough to be counted as flying. And there goes all of my first aid meds. I've used them all. But that is okay. Because this is our urgent. This is the hard quest. Ah. Don't do it. Get, just, just a second, sir. Over here. Son of a bitch. Not the demon drug. I don't want that. Hot drink. Come over here. I don't want to fight you by the entrance. Because then I'll get zoned, like, uh, load zoned out of here. Ah. Oh. That's upsetting. That was way early. Way early. Don't do it. Tremors so far. I think he's got to be close. I've been doing a ton of damage. At least got the hit off. Didn't time that one right. I had to get out of the way. I had to take the tremor. Mm. I really got to work on my round force.
Uh-oh. Yep. Okay, there's all the health I just healed. Got it that time. Dig attack. I shouldn't have sharpened. I'm dead. <laughs> Not dead, but definitely getting hit. Okay, target them. Let me sharpen. Son of a bitch. I know you're in rage mode, but relax. I'm getting hit again. I had way more health than that. Okay. Dang it. Ah, <sighs> Blanganga. Blanganga. I did get the sharpen off, but I died for it. See, I don't know why the cats drop you off back here. Might as well pick these up. And the Nullberries. Why did I not pick up the Nullberries? I don't know. Hot drink. And some rations. And then we'll finish this. I hope. What time we at? A little over 10 minutes on this fight. Okay. That's about right for an urgent. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Need to paintball him again. So I can keep track of him. All the way back up. There we go. Yeah, I know, I know. You stay over there. Really? Well, since I'm going to be chasing him again, um, I'll go over something that I probably should have gone over in the first place. Um, the oils and what they do. Um, uh, Affinity Oil adds 30... Here, I'll, I'll show it. Uh, equipment. So you can see that this has affinity of 0%. And affinity is your crit rate. Um, you'll do 0.25 times more damage uh, with, when you land a crit. Uh, when you land a crit. And Affinity Oil gives you 30 affinity for 2 minutes. Um, stamina Oil adds both exhaust and stun damage to each one of your attacks. I believe it's 8 and 12. 8 exhaust and 12 stun, or it's the vice versa. Um, basically, exhaust damage causes the monster to become tired. And stun damage, when hitting the head, helps you deal knockout. So that's how I've been, uh, how I knock out with stamina oil. Um, impact attacks normally deal uh, stun damage and, and exhaust damage. Um, so, like, my Shield Bash does that naturally. And both of those are for two minutes. Um, I should have explained those in the first episode, but I didn't really think about it. But, now I have. Yeah, so Affinity Oil basically ups your damage, and Exhaust Oil will up the, uh... Will create more opportunities for you and allow you to exhaust the monster. That was close. Come on, come on, come on. Bastard. Oh, he didn't even hit me. Definitely should have. He's gotta be close. Gotta be. Done so much damage to him. There's a limp. How'd my 
Did I not paintball him again? I swear I did. Oh well, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and bomb him while he's asleep. Um, I've had some commenters want me to start utilizing some actual strategies for this game. I've kind of just been hanging around. I've I, I do know them. Uh, especially bombing, you'll see it as soon as I get asleep. Really, you aren't asleep? Okay. Waited plenty of time, but if you're gonna knock me out of the area, I'm just gonna go ahead and heal back up. Um, like sleep bombing. Uh, whenever a monster's sleeping, the first source of damage that it receives will be doubled. So if you use bombs, bombs deal flat damage, period, no matter where you hit the monster, whereas attacks against monsters have to go through the monster's defense, as well as through your motion values of your attacks. I believe... I believe Barrel Bomb Large Pluses do 150 flat damage. Are you going to sleep? Are you leaving? You're leaving. Son of a bitch. You jumped that way, which means you went to 7, or you went to 3. I'm going to bank on 3, because I think that's where you sleep. And if I'm wrong, I'll deal with it. Yeah, I believe Barrel Bomb Large Pluses do 150 damage flat, and I want to say Barrel Bombs do 75. I could be wrong. There he is, he's asleep. But by bombing... Don't hit him, Blungalas. Don't fucking do it. You fucking bitches. Um, but you'll notice that bombs have a large hitbox, and you can use paintballs to set them off. But I didn't get the double damage because the Blangala hit him and woke him up. Because he's an asshole. I'm never going to land that hit. <laughs> I always whiff it. Whatever, he's already pretty close. There's a trip. This might be it. Also, uh, what I've been doing with Round Force is when I've been dodging attacks, I haven't really explained this either. Um, Round Force has, uh, I want to say it's invincibility frames. Uh, it's not super armor, it's invincibility frames. Uh, man, I should have sharpened earlier, I didn't. But, it's, they're very slim. Like, there's only a few of them, but if you time it properly, you can dodge attacks and counterattack. Oh, that should have hit me. But uh, that's why I've been using it to go through attacks. It's an attack that also lets you shield the entirety, entirety of it. If you time it properly. It's actually a really good hunter art. Uh, I guess I could go over what motion values are too. Um, each attack for each weapon has a different motion value. Which is... Wow! God damn it, Dustin. Don't lose this hunt. As a motion value based on the attack, and the motion values are a percentage of your damage. So a motion value of 21, which I believe that attack has, it's either that's either 21 or that's 14. Um, I know that this right here, this combo, is your high no, is your highest damage dealing or highest motion value combo. Uh, but say it's 21. Then it would take my actual raw damage, um, which is right now 105 that you can see on the right, attack. Um, take my motion value, which would be, say, 20. Let, let's make it simple. Say my attack's 100. Say the motion value is 20, um, which is relatively in the right area for Sword and Shield for, for an attack. Um, it ra They range anywhere from, like, 12 to, 12 to like, 25%. Or 25 motion value. Um, then it'll take my attack, saying it's the 20 motion value. It'll divide. Well, it'll mul technically multiply my uh, my attack value, attack stat, by the motion value, which is a decimal, 
which would be 0.2, because it would be 20%. And then it would compare it to the monster's weakness values, or hit zone values, is I think what they're actually called. Um, and each part of the monster has a different hit zone value. Like, I believe Rathian's head is a 70, which is really high. Most monsters are normally closer to the 50 range in certain areas. Um, there's areas on them that are only at 20%, so then it then gets, say, I slash Rathian in the face with a, with my 20 motion value attack from the sword and shield, which is slashing, and then there's also two different hit, other hit zones. There's, uh, there's shots, like range hit zones, and there is impact hit zones. So they have different values for that as well, but the calculation's the same. Um, I'm going the very, very long way to get back to, oh. Never mind. I'm done with this. But let's say I'm hitting Rathian's face with a 20 motion value attack, right? With 100 attack. So I'd have a calculated damage of 20 that then gets compared to Rathian's 70% hit zone. So you would, I would deal 70% of 20 damage um, which would be math. I can do it. 50 is... 50 is only 10 damage. And then another 20% after that. Why am I struggling so much with 20% of 20? 4. 4. So it would be 14. I would do 14 damage for a 20 motion value attack to Rathian's forehead. Additionally... Um, element works differently. Uh, I'll go over element in the next hunt. That's it for this one. <laughs> Let's see what we unlock. We got hunter rank 2. Our cat's leveled up to level 16. I almost lost that freaking hunt because I kept getting careless and not paying attention to my health as much as I should. I should really upgrade my armor. You know what? We're gonna We're gonna do that before we do anything else. Let's Let's be smart. We're probably going to be using this armor for a little bit. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. So you just go in, and use armor spheres, and you can increase it. And we're only going to... I have a lot of armor spheres because I got the uh, DLC stuff, but I'm only going to use up my regular armor spheres. I won't go past that, because then it would be way too easy. And I'm... The game doesn't technically plan on you having them, but it does give it to you. I'm not cheating. But, anyways, so our armor's upgraded, so it'll help our defense. But let's go ahead and talk to this, this lady. We've got Hunter Rank 2. Um, what else do you have to say? Oh, she's going to tell, tell us about Deviant Monsters. Um, we'll be dealing with Deviant Monsters later. I'm not starting them right now. Um, she's going to have her items expanded. Because we got to a new... We got to a new area, or like level. Um, we're going to get the organizer's guide real quick. It just increases the amount of our item box can store. And we got Hunter Rank 2. Let's see what quests we have. A lot. Okay, hold on. Let me get rid of all these news. All right. Um, we're going to start off by going to the deserted island, actually, because this is an area that we haven't had access to for a while. And if you remember that we've been waiting on Bialid Ore, this is where we can get it. So I'm going to go mine some Bialid Ore. All right. And, oh, we got people to talk to. Oh, you're going to tell me about the Deviant Armor. That's fine. I'll explain that later. What about you? Okay. All right. So, having gotten some uh, some Bialid ore, let's see what we can upgrade. Uh, we can get this to. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's go ahead and knock this up a level. That's fine. Do that. Don't equip it. Hidden Edge, uh, Nargakuga. We can't fight him for a while. Okay. This one. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. 
Uh, Hunter's Dagger. We need more lights, cr light crystals. Uh, don't feel like doing it right now. Gonna be completely honest with you. So we'll mess with that later. Uh, Rembro Hide. Still can't get that. Soldier's Dagger. Yep, we need Bialite. Oh god, I'm gonna need more. Son of a... <clears throat> this one first. We're gonna upgrade this one first. Yep. Uh-huh. And now we can make... Oh god. Okay. <laughs> And now we can make that son of a bitch. I need more light crystals. <laughs> All right, we want this. Uh, we want this a lot. So we're gonna have to do that. Uh, God damn, I'm never gonna finish this episode. Never gonna get done. It's not gonna happen. Okay, so I need. Oh Jesus. Okay. Can I make anything new? No. All right. Uh, we can also make that. What did we need to upgrade the... We need Pale Extract for that. Okay. So, we're going to go get... Oh, I'm not happy about this. We're gonna go get more freaking Bialid ore, and then we're gonna get more freaking light crystals. Dang it. There's so many things that I need. We're clearing out some of the village stuff because I don't wanna fun hunt Gypsros online all the time. Let's do this. Yeah, you better run, Pooh Bear. Done. This is a bit fishy. Done with that shit. Starting to think it just would have been faster to fight the online Gypsaros. Toad got. Now we can fight Gypsaros. Haha, and we unlocked our next hunter art. Hell yeah. I did all the stuff I needed to do and I still don't have the quest, so I'm just fighting him anyways. That's what I thought. Dumb bitch. Give me my light crystals. All right, and having fought Gypsaros, we're gonna go ahead and make Viper Bite, and I'll get more light crystals later. God damn it. Um, we're gonna equip it, and we need Volvodon stuff to level it up. That is actually pretty good, because the next monster we are fighting, as I switch my weapon back, because I don't really need that, um, let's go with Where'd it go? Yeah, let's go with fire again. The next monster we're fighting is Voldon. I believe. I think I saw him on the list. Let me double check. Hi. Yeah, the Rolly Boy. Let's do this. All right, time to take on the Rolly Boy, and he's in the the uh. Jurassic... What is this place called? God dang it. Jurassic Frontier, that's what it was. <laughs> Alright. Let's see where he's at. I should probably use Psycho Serum. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, oh yeah, I said I'd explain Element. It's only been about two hours for me. Um, element. The way that Element attacks work is they deal the element that your weapon has... So, right here, you can see that the weapon has 12 fire. Um, of course, there's sharpness modifiers, but if you really want to learn more about sharpness, go look it up. Honestly, it, it, you can learn better from an actual resource than from me. Um, but, element will deal its damage each time you hit, regardless of how quick the attack is. Um, and it deals the same amount regardless. So, weapons like sword and shield and um, dual blades... An insect glaive and other fast weapons deal element damage very well. Um, additionally, monsters have different resistances for elements, like for each element, and it's just body-wise, it's not part-wise, so their whole body is weak to the element the same amount. 
So if you're fighting a monster that's really weak to an element, um, and you have a high element weapon, you can do a ton of damage just by hitting as many times as you can, and not really worrying about where you're hitting or uh, with what attacks. So since Sword and Shield has low motion value, it doesn't do a whole, done, whole ton of raw damage in comparison to what the Great Sword and stuff will do, but it'll deal way more element damage because it'll be hitting way more often. If that makes sense. Ah, oh, Renflos, go away. But this is Volvodon. Um, he's a red roly-poly. I think he's actually based off of an armadillo. But he also has uh, paralysis, which is interesting. Oh, fucking Renflos. Seriously. All right, you guys have to die. I'm done with you. <laughs> Worst freaking monsters. Small ones. Right there. Oh, I didn't get the head. Didn't get the head. Volvodon's cool. I like Volvodon. Um, I think he's fun to fight. I think he has interesting moves, but he also is one of those monsters that you can kind of just pound on if you know how to fight him. Kind of like a Zeros, but a Zeros is a lot easier to pound on because he's a Zeros. He's Winnie the Pooh. Um, I do need to sharpen. There's his tongue. His tongue has paralysis. I don't know if you saw that. It shoots out. Are you leaving? No, okay. You're just fighting my cats. Let's get them out of the doorway. That's paralysis again. And that's kind of why you need him to uh, upgrade your paralysis weapon. Or mine, at least. <laughs> Is just because he's also contributing to the paralysis tree. Oh! Yep, he rolls backwards. I gotta heal. And hope he pays attention to the cats for a minute. And then I can get some combos off. Are you leaving? Can you not? Come back. I'm fighting you. Alright. Let me put a stamina oil on. Okay. Back at it. Come here, Volvodon. Now, ideally, I should be able to get all the stuff that I need from him in this one fight, because I don't need a whole lot. Um, there's another uppercut. Not to the right one, not to the right spot, is what I should say. Here's Sword Dance. The first and the last hit deal the most damage, so you want to make sure you land those two hits in particular. Um, they have the highest motion values. Uh, and also, Hunter Arts have levels. I only have level one versions of them all right now, but you get more as you go. You can see the exhaust oil at work. Or the stamina oil at work, I'm sorry. he ex It exhausted him. A lot of monsters that spit things can't do so when they're exhausted. Um, as you can see. That was close. He's running over there. We're gonna get a sharpen off. Yep. Not the tongue. Dang it. He'll yank in. And then roll over you. I believe Volvodon uh, eats Banahabra, or Altaroths, is the word I'm looking for. Um, I believe that's his diet. He might also eat Banahabras, which would explain the tongue. Um, and I think that's where he actually gets his paralysis from. I don't think he makes his own, I think he steals it from the bugs. Anyone that knows the uh, ecology a bit better than me, is feel free to correct me. Um, I'm going off of bits and pieces that I've learned over the time. Going for a mount. Started it, at least. Uh-oh. Is he leaving again? Does not want to hang around and fight. 
I also can't really get this knockout. I keep working on it. At this rate, I should just switch over to Affinity Oil and get the damage. It's running all the way over there. And he's going to roll all the way back. Get a few hits in with round force. What are you doing? Turn around. Oh, and I whiffed. That's what you get for trying to make reads. Here's his bouncy ball move. Yeah, Volvodon's cool. I like Volvodon. Oh, he backed up from that. I flinched him. Put your head down. <laughs> Can't hit you in the face if you have it up there. Turn around. Nope, not like that. <laughs> Damn it. He's gonna go for the swipes. Right there. Man. Cannot hit his head with that. No, oh, I tried to roll through it. I need to sharpen. Come back. I just want to fight you. Ow. Uh oh. Yep. I fucked up. Okay, that's why we have deodorant. Um, he imposed stinky on us, which does not allow you to use a lot of your items. Anything, any consumables, I believe. But deodorant gets rid of it. And consumables include heals, so you gotta look out for that. You get stinkied at the wrong time, you're in trouble, because it lasts for a while. Stop it. Oh, and I got clipped. Dang it. I'm gonna hold off on healing that right now, though. Because I think I'll be alright. That was a mistake. That's an attack you want to look out for. That one does a lot of damage. Shell should break shortly. I have been wailing on it. Well, there he goes. I'm going to use a whetstone. Can I use oils? Yeah, I can still use oils. I'm just going to throw Affinity Oil on. I'm done with trying to get the knockouts. It's not working. So we're just going to head in and uh, hopefully finish him off. Um, one thing to note, um, I didn't really explain why on like the hub is harder than the village. Um, the village uses single player stats, whereas the hub, which has access to G rank and a lot more monsters, um, uses online stats, which is intended for multiplayer. Um, and it basically converts to that every monster has about three times as much health on the hub and deals a little more damage from what I remember. 
because it's designed to be fought with four players. Or I think they're balanced for three, but you, they allow four, is the idea. They balance it to be equal to the village for three. It also makes uh, all the thresholds for knockout and... For knockout, for... Uh, like, ailments, makes them all higher. I don't think it's quite as drastic as... Uh-oh. I don't think it's quite as drastic as the health, but uh, they are increased. That was close. That's unfortunate. But yeah, so this is a hub Volvodon. As are all the monsters that you're going to see me fight the full fight of. Um, which is why they might be a little long. If I were fighting a village one, I'd probably have been done a while ago. But that's okay, you get to see more of a fight this way. I'm just gonna get as much damage in on him as I can. If I played my cards right and I thought about it, I could have probably got a mount off on him there because I have built up so much of the mount. Damn. Still didn't break his shell. It's alright, we're good. Gonna go finish it up now. There's the mount. Now he's rampaging. And down she goes. And that breaks his back. Damn, still not the head. I swear that one was. Oh, I'm stuck in the wall. <laughs> We're getting some crazy damage off right now, though. Ow. And I'm thinking... I'm going to collect... I'm going to get hit. Oh, no, I'm not. He's going to limp away. Maybe I won't. I was thinking about capturing him to try to increase my uh, claw, car, or claw chance, but if he's going to limp away... I don't really want to be doing that yet. Um, right here. Hopefully he actually... No, don't. Don't leave. Don't. Please don't do this to me. You fucking bitch. Come here. Oh, you're eating. We'll stop that. Fine. Okay. Now I know you're definitely weak enough, even though you already were. Come here. Get in the trap. Good Volvodon. He's done. Let's see if we get the claws. We might get lucky. Or I might be fighting him again. We'll see. I don't actually remember how many I needed. I might have needed like three. So. I might be screwed. Let's find out. You hear the cows are very not happy. Well, I got two. We'll see if that's enough. Oh, wait, no, I got more. I didn't see that. Yeah, I got more. Okay, that should be enough then. Because we got at least three. So we should be golden. So let's go upgrade that sword. And then we'll uh, fight our last monster for the day. Well, for this episode, at least.
Let's do it. Upgrade. Um, where was it? Viper bite. Yeah, we needed three claws, and we got three. Um, Genprey fangs. Yes, because I have a ton of them. And we get another two paralysis and another ten raw with some more sharpness. Hell yeah. Um, and we will equip it now. And now it needs high rank stuff, so that's going to be a while. High rank stuff plus stuff from Zenogar. So that'll be a hot minute. Uh, I don't believe that there's anything else we can upgrade. We need Dragonite Ore to upgrade the Iron Weapon again, which we aren't going to be getting for a while. Uh, more Light Crystals for that. I don't feel like doing that. Dragonite Ore for this one as well. Lacargus stuff still. Um, dogs are barking. We're going to go ahead and upgrade the Great Jaggy, or the Jaggy Weapon. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I wanted to do that. Don't equip it. Uh, Princess Rapier and the Kazu Razor. Okay, we can't make either of those yet, but that's cool. I'm glad I know how to get to those. Gargawa Scales, we weren't going to be using those for a while. Okay, would they please stop? I'm going to stop talking until they... Uh, I guess I shouldn't, but... I think we're done in here. So, we're going to double check and make sure there's no more that we can just make... We can make a Mufa sword, which is a sleep weapon. Um, that would be fun. But I'd have to deal with Mufas some more. Um, I guess like, oh, hey, let's make the y Yukumo cutter. Let's just see what it can become. Uh, well, we can upgrade it. Let's do that. And then we need lava nuggets, which you get from Urigen. So we can't upgrade that yet to see what else it can be. So we're going to have to wait. Any other cool swords that we can make? For that, I need to move a fleece balls. I'll figure that out. Um, I am not really seeing anything. So, I mean, I can make the cat's paw, but I already have a better paralyzed weapon. So I'm not that worried about it. We're going to go ahead and hunt our last monster for the day. Oh, wait, let's make palico armor. We haven't done that. Forge some armor. We could make them all kinds of stuff. Oh, we're gonna make them the Bulldrum stuff. Yeah, we're gonna make them the Bulldrum armor. And weapons. What can we make the cats? We can make them this sword. Is there anything else? <laughs> it's Aptanoth meat. That's funny. Fish stick. That's cool. Um, we got a blast weapon, dragon wep, dragon weapon. Weird. Another dragon weapon. Um, a paralyzed lantern from Volvodon. Ice there. Um, whoa. That weapon's cool. We're, we're just gonna... Hmm. We're just gonna leave them with what they got right now. Oh, wait, is this better? Oh, this is significantly better. We're gonna make them these. Dang it. I need to make more scraps. All right, an extra long crafting sessions aside, we are all set to take on the last monster of the day. We're going to go ahead and hunt down... Where are you at? The Iodrome. The last of the uh, big raptors that we haven't fought yet. So let's get right into it. All right, and we are at another new area, the Marshlands. And we're going to hunt down this Iodrome. Should be fun. Let's do it. Um, do we still have our Psycho Serum? We should. Yes, we do. All right, let's take our hot drink, pop our Psycho Serum, and see where the heck he's at. And I am very fond of the Voldrome armor for the cats. I think it looks really cool.
And I'm glad that they have a sword from the Sword and Shield now, too, instead of just using a great sword, because we are Sword and Shield warriors, the pride. Good old lines, pride. Here's our monster, Iodrum. Now I'll explain ailments. Um, if you watch the effects around the monster when I hit him carefully, you'll notice that sometimes, well, if they'll go off, they haven't gone off at all, I haven't seen. There it is, the little zaps that you can see sometimes. Um, ailments trigger one third of the time, and when they trigger, they deliver their full amount. And once they deliver their full amount, the ailment triggers. And in this case, it's paralyzed, which will paralyze the monster for that short period of time, just like that. And once that happens, their uh oh, their resistance to the ailment goes up, and you start over again from zero. Once you reach their threshold again, they'll get paralyzed again or poisoned or whichever weapon you're using. And it continues like that. Ow. In this case, I'm a big fan of Paralyze, as are many people. Paralyze is very good. It just gives you full openings to kind of combo on the monster. And again, uh, weapons like Sword and Shield and Dual Blades excel at using ailments as well, because they're also hit-based, as you can see. Let's go for Shoryungeki. Got him in the face. And now that we have access to this, you might start to see why Sword and Shield, oh dang it, is pretty good in this game. Because you can kind of just lock down a monster. I didn't hit him. Cats must have. I'm not even using uh, stamina oil like I should be. But that's alright. Because now we're going from a paralyzed to a mount. You can just create a bunch of openings. Granted, this is an easy monster to create openings on. Because the raptors are all generally pretty easy. His head pushed me just far enough out of the way. There's our knockout from a shield bash. If I can land my hits... Sorry, my controller isn't super responding. Which is getting frustrating. I have it, like, right next to the switch, so it should be. There's our third paralyze. We're gonna go for a Shuri and Geki. I should really sharpen, but I don't want to stop hitting this monster. And we're gonna go for a sword dance. There it is. And a round force. And I think you can start to see why uh, Sword and Shield kind of rocks. Let's go ahead and sharpen and I'll heal up. There's a uh, Polisher coming in handy from eating. Don't you spit poison at me. Cat Bomb saved me. Son of a bitch. Stop poisoning me. Yeah, this is Iodrum. He has little Eye of Prey versions, which are just like the uh, Gendron or Genprey and stuff. And he should be pretty close, actually. I've been doing a ton of damage. He's leaving. He's not quite limping yet. Don't do it. Don't do it, Senator. Oh, you're not dead. Now you are. We'll carve this bad boy. Gimme. Give Gimme Give your things. That cat's just chilling. Alright, come here, Iodrome. Oh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen and put on an oil if I can find my whetstones. And let's just go with affinity oil. But yeah, I hope those uh, explanations have helped those of you that are new to the series. Um, I didn't really think about it, so I apologize for not explaining that stuff earlier. I definitely should have. But I will keep that in mind in the future, and as new things show up. And that was just a par uh, paralysis right into a stun, so I just super extended that uh, opening. I'm actually thoroughly surprised that he's not dead yet. I missed that. Come on, Idrome. It's another paralyzed. He must be weak to it. Yeah, he has to be, like, super susceptible to this. Otherwise, I would not have gotten him this many times already. That's four. See if I can show this off. I mean, I shouldn't be putting him in when he's enraged, but it's fine. Oh, he's not enraged, any enraged anymore. I should be doing it when he's exhausted. Come here. One step forward. Thank you. fucking sharpness um if you can manage to paralyze or knock out a monster while they're, they're in a trap it'll pause their trap escape time and uh put them into that condition and then start their timer back up where it left off so you can extend a a downtime a lot by having stuff like paralysis damn it and uh knockout ko so something to keep in mind Go ahead and sharpen, put an oil back on. Let's finish this quest up. And here, I'll show off sleep bombing. Hopefully. If you put bombs down, don't do it. You fucking bitch. Little monsters are the bane of my existence. They don't let me do anything. I whiff that hard. Holy shit. I'm very upset. Fucking little monsters being pains in my ass. Come on, Iodrome, just go down. There it is. And there goes Iodrome. He's definitely harder than the other two, but he's still pretty easily easy in comparison because he's a raptor, and these raptors are pretty easy. I'm also getting violet scales, which I think are the normal drop. They might be as rare. Um, if so, I just got stupid lucky. Let's see if we can kill a couple Isle Prey, too. Get a few carves off them. Because we might need their stuff as well. Okay, it seems like we've got to fight uh, Io. We just got to kill some Isle Prey, so we're going to go do the Isle Prey Hunt quest. We'll be right back. That'll do it. And back from fighting all the gyps, or not the gypsaros, 
fucking Gypsaurus wouldn't leave me alone. All the Eye of Prey, we can make this weapon. And now we need random brush stuff again to upgrade it. All right. Well, with that, that is going to be it for this time, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Sorry if it's been a bit of a long episode. It's been a very long episode to record for me. Um, just a reminder, if you guys are enjoying the series, uh, let me know with a comment down below. If you like the video, leave a like. Uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing. Uh, I make content like this, well, Monster Hunter, every Monday and Wednesday. And if you guys would really like to do me a favor, my Twitter link is right down in the description, and I would like to start doing some community polls at some point. So, if you're interested in joining in on that, follow me on there. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.